Anxiety and worry are part of being human. And let's face it, there's plenty to be anxious and worried about. It's not God's desire for us to live anxiously or worried, but it is a reality of life. So I'm excited to tell you about a workshop we are offering through Pine Rest on October 25th called Managing Worry and Anxiety. We'll explore how to determine if our worry and anxiety level is in a healthy place, and then we'll also learn several key skills to effectively limit the impact of worry and anxiety. This is also helpful if you are parenting or live with someone that lives with anxiety. It's for everyone, and I mean everyone. So invite your friends, your neighbors, people you know at school, family members. It's gonna be a great workshop. You can go to thornapple.org or the Thornapple app for more information and to register. It's free and open, again, to everybody. The date is Monday, October 25th at 7 p.m. right here at Thornapple. It will be well worth your time. Hi, my name is Ron. And for those of you who don't know me, I've been on staff here since February as the facility and grounds coordinator. I'd like to take a moment to walk you through the outdoor spaces we've set up for your use. We've got three covered sitting areas with picnic tables and chairs, prep tables, and two of the spaces have portable fire pits that you're welcome to use. We plan to leave these great spaces set up through October and possibly longer. So if you'd like to reserve one of them for a meeting, Bible study, or social gathering, just get in touch with Kimberly at the church office. We hope these spaces give you another safe option for you to gather and enjoy some fresh air. We hope to see you soon. Hey Thornapple, I was first introduced to you all on my bike in a video in northern Minnesota in June of 2020. So I thought I'd say goodbye in the same way. If you haven't heard by now, my, my time with you all is up at the end of September. I had hoped to stay with you longer, but I, I have a sister in the last days of cancer, and I want to spend that time with her down in Phoenix. Plus, I have some churches in other countries that are looking for me to visit them as well. You know, COVID has made this a strange year to join you. But I hope my presence has brought some hope and stability during a stressful season. Lisa and I enjoyed our time here. We really loved the area. I'll be speaking at the last two services in September, the 19th and the 26th, and I hope to see you at one of those services, if, if at all possible. I'd love to have the chance to say goodbye to you. I've had a number of people ask me how they can follow our travels as we uh, go about the world in our ministry adventures. And if you'd like to stay informed, just email the church and let, let me know that way that, and I'll put you on a newsletter list and send out some updates. You know, I believe that God has some good things, really great things in store for Thornapple. So I hope you'll stay strong, keep the faith, keep believing that God is gonna do some great things here.